Oh, hey guys, you've just disappeared. Yes. Well, I cannot <laughs> oh, see no. you guys at all. How do I get back? Quit Zoom and come back in. I'm going to do that. Come yeah, back zoom in. Out, come back oh, in. Look. There, there you, you are. are. There you what? are. The all you have to do is believe. So let's talk about Ted. He is a vet. He's a comedian. He diagnosed a ton of high dogs. Oh, God, yes. uh, The only problem with, with fixing them is getting their owners to admit <laughs> what happened. He's done the Halifax Comedy Fest, the Winnipeg Comedy Festival, yuck yucks. TV appearances on the Toronto show, the Comedy Network's Canadian Comedy Shorts, much more music's Heat Meter. His debut comedy album, Dawn of the Ted. He uh, shows up on CBC's The Debaters. Featured regularly on Global TV's morning show, dispensing advice about your weird pets. He appears in drag too, online, under the name Wilhelmina Boxfarts. Ladies and gentlemen, Ted Morris. <laughs> Uh, hey, Ted, yeah. Is that you on that t-shirt? It's Wilhelmina, yeah. Oh! We were just fans there. who make me fan art. Who is that spark? When were you going to become a comedian? So how the hell did that all happen? So it all started when I was in my first year of vet school. And one of my classmates was doing some improv. And I'm like, oh, that sounds like fun. I always love performing. So I joined this improv group. And then that led to me joining a sketch group. Never thought I would do stand-up. And then watching someone do it live for the first time nothing bad happened no one threw anything at him like okay i'll give it a try and i didn't know about open mics i had no idea how any of it worked so i went to uh, club 54 in burlington whoa a host of this guy called ben guy so that was that was my first time on stage and he was really nice to me and he offered me a, a weekend spot wow we usually like to go back and try to find old stuff but ted you look exactly the same man you haven't changed so I, we can't tell what's old i uh, i'm trying i'm trying to be a better person oh it's exhausting <laughs> have you tried it it's like uh why can't i just be a jerk and not care who did you look up to as a comedian? Who would inspire you? I just like stand up in general. But the one influence I think I would have is Shelly Berman, because my dad had a Shelly Berman uh, record. Let me play this one. Hey, uh, I got to kill a chihuahua yesterday. The guy I got to kill, he's been my nemesis for like the last five years. Every time he came to the clinic, he would just try to bite me, and then he'd try to bite everyone else, and finally he started biting his family, and they're like, all right. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Let's do this! <laughs> awesome! I didn't even use the juice, I just grabbed a big pillow. I'm like, die! I hate you! Oh! Little fucker! Oh. The Chihuahua I wrote that joke about growled to his dying breath. I was giving him the injection, he's like, Urgh. It was just something like a motor running jet. I'm like, you little so and so. <laughs> oh my God. If, you're, if your cat's name is Kitty, <laughs> Give it back, get a plant. What's wrong with you? All our cats are kitties, but they all have formal names. Cat's not gonna come when you call it anyways, so it doesn't matter <laughs> what you call them. Do you have anything coming up? Comedy Night with Rick Mercer. That is premiering sometime in September on, on CBC. Ed yeah. hey, Morris, thank that you so much, man. Great fun. That was Yay. fabulous. Thank you. Funny. That was I, hilarious. That was an unusual guy, because he's a vet a comedian so it's cool that he puts those two things together yeah. Yeah. you're pretty in pink today am i pretty in pink okay she, well, she just gave you. you the finger she just gave you the finger i did, did. I did. wow yeah. like share comment subscribe